Giordano, professor of clinical pharmacology, University of Milan, Italy. Hello, doctor, how are you? Very good, thank you. Uh, welcome to Egypt. Uh, what's your, uh, what do you think about Cardio Annex uh, 2018 and did it meet your expectations? Well, I think uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a very nice program. Uh, looking uh, to the list of uh, the speakers and the topics that have been addressed, really is a very important meeting. It looks like uh, uh, all the areas that are relevant to, to cardiology have been touched upon uh, with special emphasis on new uh, approaches and new techniques for the cardiologist. And I think uh, the attendance, uh, the huge amount of people who are here, uh, testimonies for the fact that uh, uh, there is an interest of uh, the person coming over here, not just to meet, but also to learn something new from their own view. So I think, I think uh, it's been very, very positive. I was told that uh, all Egypt there are about 2,600 cardiologists and the attendance is much larger. So that means it attracts also other people, not only cardiologists. Yes. Uh, what did you present this year? Uh, I have presented data regarding uh, new trials with uh, inhibitors of PCS, PCSK9. This is uh, a new approach to lower cholesterol in plasma, especially uh, the LDL cholesterol. And this new approach is a biological approach. Those are monoclonal antibodies that are being used uh, to decrease uh, the LDL cholesterol up to 60% more on the top of a, a standard treatment, which usually is a statin plus uh, ezetimibe. Those drugs are very effective, and only recently we have been made aware of uh, the results of large trials, and both of them, with uh, two types of antibodies, have been uh, shown very positive results in two different sets of patients, one with stable disease and one with acute coronary syndromes. And the results are encouraging, and uh, in line with the expected reduction of LDL cholesterol. Okay, what's your expectations for uh, next culture, Alex? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, there will be more and more in the future uh, the area of not only coronary disease, but also strokes and uh, peripheral vascular disease that will interest directly or indirectly cardiologists because the patient will be more complicated than the usual is because we are becoming very good in keeping them alive and so the disease will accumulate on the patients. So there will be probably more attention uh, and I will strongly suggest if I were asked to go that line uh, to look also for other districts like the brains which have been already here this year but also the peripheral arterial disease. Okay. That would be something important. Thanks a lot Dr. Nini, nice to see you today. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Indeed.